Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders Motorsports. Today, we're at Richard Childress Racing in Welcome, North Carolina. At Richard Childress's, they use a lot of different welding machines to build their race cars. And we thought it would be a great place to talk about choosing the right welder for your application. When trying to choose a welder to purchase, it can be a bit overwhelming with all the different machines to pick from. There are dozens of machines with overlapping capacities and features. Just take a look at how many products can weld in the 250 amp range. It can be very confusing, which is why we developed a product selector brochure for the performance industry. This brochure breaks down the standard racing or performance vehicle into its subcomponents, where we choose the right welder for each application. We also break down whether you're a hobbyist, a semi-professional, or a professional manufacturer. What we'd like to do here is give you a little insight into our products and what makes them the right choice for your application. When selecting a welder for your needs, there are the basic requirements you need to consider. Input power, 120 volts, 240 volts, 460 volts, single phase or three phase. How much space you have for the welder, the material thickness you'll be welding, and of course your cost and budget. But let's take a look at the actual machine's characteristics that prime window that the machine really works well in, and the special features that help solve your welding challenges. These are the areas that we're gonna concentrate on. First, let's take a look at light gauge material that you'd like to MIG weld. Most welders have a window that they work best in. This is especially true with transformer stabilizer design machines. The magnetics of the transformer stabilizer really give its machine its weld characteristics and are slower to react to arc changes. These types of welders are typically designed around welding mild steel and don't perform as well on stainless steel or aluminum. Welders with inverter-based engines are much faster at developing the welding arc and can be tuned for specific thicknesses and even material types. When working with light gauge material like body panels, the arc start is the most important part of the weld. Sputtery or poppy starts will not do. For this application, the Millermatic 190 or Millermatic 211 would be the premier choice. It has an inverter engine that gives reliable, positive arc starts, along with auto set technology that makes the machine super easy to set. These machines are perfect for auto body and light fabrication, including chassis work. For more demanding jobs where cycle times are higher and material thicknesses are up to quarter inch, the Millermatic 212 would be a fine fit. It has larger drive rolls, heavier drive system, and a 60% duty cycle. It also has auto set technology and comes standard with a 15-foot MIG gun. If you're a heavier manufacturer and also require some extended reach, the XMT350 with an overhead swing arc would be a creative solution. The XMT has a powerful inverter engine and the swing arc gives exceptional reach, eliminating the need to pull a welder around and keeps the weld area clear of cables. Now let's take a look at some TIG machines. In most hobby applications, the Diversion 180 would be a fine choice, but it has a very limited feature set. It has a great inverter welding arc that welds DC and AC for your steels and aluminum. But for a little more investment, you can get a lot better machine. The inverter-based Synchrowave 210 gives you more amps, a better TIG torch, industrial foot control, and a variety of arc controls including pulsers in DC and AC, as well as the ability to change both your balance and output frequency in AC for exceptional fine-tuning of the weld arc. You can even stick weld or MIG weld with the optional Spoolmate 150. This would be an excellent upgrade for the home hobbyist or primary welder for the semi-pro or light manufacturer. When your production needs are higher and you need a water-cooled system or you need some expanded features, the Dynasty 210DX or 280DX will meet your needs. The Dynasty DX has an expanded pulse, up to 500 pulses per second, balance and AC frequency ranges up to 400 Hz, along with additional waveforms to further customize the welding arc. The four output waveforms are Advanced Square Wave, which gives you a crisp, firm arc with maximum penetration, Soft Square Wave, which is the factory default, gives you an excellent puddle control and superior penetration, Sine Wave, 
which is more of a traditional, soft, quiet, buttery arc with less penetration characteristics than the two square waves. And triangular waveform, which is good for low amperage, thinner materials. Both the Dynasty 210, 280, and the Synchrowave 210 have an SD card reader slot for downloading microprocessor updates or optional expanded features. We also have dynasties in the 350 and higher amperage range for welding your extra thick material like aluminum cylinder heads and blocks. These dynasties also have expanded pulse capacity to 5,000 pulses per second on DC and 500 on AC, as well as the four AC wave shapes. They also have the ability to adjust the AC electropositive and electronegative independently. Depending upon adjustments, this can reduce tungsten wear, reduce excess etching from the AC cleaning cycle, as well as maximize the penetration cycle. This allows for welding the thicker materials without the risk of tungsten spinning and reduces the heat that tungsten and TIG torch have to absorb when welding aluminum. The larger dynasties have 18 TIG memory locations that can store all your weld settings. Nine in AC and nine in DC. This makes setup quick and easy for multiple parts and ensures that the settings are consistent from one manufacturing run to the next. Now this was just a small sample of our product line. When deciding on what products to purchase, remember it's not all about the minimum or maximum thickness of metal the machine can weld, but the window that the welder performs best in. Also, consider the additional features that can solve your welding challenges. Visit MillerWelds.com to learn more about these machines and check out our welding and racing guide.